So you haven't heard from him either. Andrew? Andrew, open up. We need to start filming. I'm not filming. I told you guys not to air that messy C episode and you still did. Ryan will be dropping lawsuits on you, your mama, your daddy, and everybody else. Andrew, we have told you this already. You signed a binding contract with an arbitration clause and you had your attorney review it. You can't sue. Well, you can't make me work, so that's why I stole the footage from my birthday. Because I knew you wouldn't edit it to make me look good. You stole it? Give it to me immediately. Andrew, that's a crime. Who cares? I was just charged with passing bad checks, so join the party. Bloop! Andrew, we need that footage. Andrew. If he won't film, maybe we should just leave. Wait, there's someone. Maybe she knows Andrew and can get him to open up. Hi, ma'am. Excuse me. Ma'am. Ma'am? Hello? That's Edna. She's deaf. I steal her DoorDash all the time because she never hears them knocking. Where did my DoorDash go? I guess I will just order again. So, what should we do? He won't open up the door or give us the footage. Rashin just texted me. He said the footage is hidden in the log. In the log? Hand me your camera and go check. Got it. Guess we don't need him to film after all. Today is my birthday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have to go to the mall to get my ring cleaned and then pick up my tux and go to the hotel. I'm going to be looking very well good for my 30th. The jewelry store doesn't allow filming, so you guys will have to wait outside. I just came from two other jewelry stores and they said my ring wasn't a diamond. Andrew, can we not do this today? We agreed to go along with your story that your diamond came from Tiffany, even though it made absolutely no sense. But we are trying to have lunch right now, so go away. Well, you can expect to hear a letter from my attorney, Ryan, and guess what we're dropping? Lawsuits! Andrew, we have you on camera making up the story about the diamond being from Tiffany and us telling you we don't care. What? I thought, I thought you said no filming in her? Um, um, well, I hope you're ready to go to jail for cyberbullying, because that's what's about to happen. Man, ripping him off was not worth it. He's such a huge headache. What a surprise. No, that wasn't good. But it was close. Oh my god. <laughs> you did this for me? What a surprise. Still not perfect, but closer. You guys did all this for me. Stop it. I can't believe it. Yep, that's the one. Now to wait for the 375 people to arrive. Oh my God, Shorty's her. Shamim, you made it. Hi, I'm Shamim. Not really sure why I'm friends with Andrew. Yes, Becky, yes! Hi, I'm Becky, Andrew's boss. Hey, I figured why not indulge him in this farce? It was already paid for. Plus, he plays the fool for me at work, so... Tara, hey girl! I was his caretaker, that's it. Um... I don't know you. Do you have a blue check mark? Andrew, she's one of my bridesmaids. Um, I'm bridesmaid number one. And I'm not sure why I'm here. Shh, Becky, not too loud. Drew, where is everyone? Well, you know, with the storm, people is running late. I already blocked British because she said she not coming because her power out, which is not an excuse. So she been blocked. Kim Zolciak shouted me out on Instagram, which is huge for me because... Even though I pretend like we know each other, I don't actually know her. Well, what about Candy and your other celebrity friends? So anyway, this is it. Let's sit and pretend. 
like we are having the best time since I'm recording for my show. Well, won't everyone see that you only have five people, her? I'm going to edit the footage so that no one can tell I'm a big liar who lies. You know I'm a big liar. Wow, he really only has five people here. There's no way he paid for this elaborate setup for only five people. So are we just going to sit here and stare? Wait, so this is actually for Becky's reception? Don't say that out loud. This is already embarrassing enough. Well, I guess the cat is out of the Wait bag. a minute, Drew. This isn't for your party. You're using Becky's wedding reception and pretending like you paid for all this? Are you kidding me? I could have been at home getting lifted, but I'm sitting at a pretend party with you. A party you are mad at British for missing? Man, I'm out of her. This is stupid. Wait, Shorty. What if I buy you a drink at the bar downstairs? You want to sit next to me, Shorty? Hell no. Nah. Just get my drink. Wow. Rude. I can't believe y'all went along with this shit. Is that Karen's sister back there in the striped shirt? Oh my God, how did she find me? Oh God, she's walking over. She definitely sees me. Andrew, why did you steal money from my sister? I didn't steal nothing from her. She gave me money because she wanted me to, though this thing on her. But I only like men's. She really liked you. Oh, well, she shouldn't have gave me money. Was it to pay for this party? Sweetie, he didn't spend a dime on this party. Line ass. I don't care. You broke her heart and used her for her money. Why, Andrew, why? Your sister's a joke. You leave us no choice. You shall hear from our solicitor. I'm not a prostitute. I didn't solicitate nobody. That means lawyer, Drew. Girl, lawsuit me for what? I'm broke. Man, you better be glad those drinks were strong or I wouldn't be staying for your pool party. I definitely 100% ran it out the entire pool for us. So let's have fun, Shorty. Oh, and everyone else. Shorty, where are you? Man, chill out. I won't lie, man. The water feels nice. At least you weren't lying about that. I don't lie about everything, Shorty. Excuse me. The pool has been reserved for the Shannon party. Mr. Caldwell, we told you that pool access is not extended to guests of the bridal party. We need you to exit the pool immediately or we will be forced to get security. Thank you. Of course you lied again. I'm gonna grab my stuff from upstairs while I wait on my Uber. You need help, Drew. Jameen, please see if you can get him to stay a little longer. I really need more footage to make my birthday seem like it was filthy successful. Shorty, please stay for five more minutes. You know he needs the money. I will stay until my Uber gets her. Look, Shorty, I'm doing the same dance you're doing. Oh, wait, you just switched. Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm now I'm the doing the same dance as you. Dang it, got you switched teams, again. Big old rocks. I got plans. You got talk. I just real cheap, but it's really go house. I'm trying to get these in. Look at me, Shorty. Hey, Shorty. Do you see me dancing? Shorty? Shorty! You think success is an option? I'm trying to get. Oh my god, this is my song. I definitely and, and, and didn't pay the DJ to play it. Baby, let me tell you something. I was homeless. Oh, you guys don't like it? I was in deep sin. I was a homosexual. I, ba I was a backstab. I was a liar. Yeah, funny, and I still am. Oh, I guess we're done dancing. I had a great night's sleep in this penthouse suite. Well, it's not really a penthouse suite, but it's a hotel that's not hourly, so.
Mr. Caldwell checkout time was 12 p.m. It is now 2 p.m. The wedding party's rooms were only covered for one night. Your rush card declined, and we don't accept checks, given your history. We need you to vacate the room. Mr. Caldwell, we know you're in there. Mr. Caldwell, please don't make us call the police. Do you really want MKTV, Taisha Nicole, the D Nation, League of Liars, or any other channels to catch wind of this? Fine, Mr. Caldwell. The police are on the way. Why do you keep looking over there? That's what us celebrities do when we ignore people. Well, I guess it's time to head home. It is my decision to leave this hotel because it is not up to my standards. Today was a great day. I turned 30 and promised myself no more lies after 30. All 375 people showed up to my party. We had a very well good pool party and I got all of them a penthouse suite. I also found out my ring is worth way more than 100,000. It's actually worth $1 million. So, no more lying for me. Yep, today was a great day.